In my daily life, I noticed that sometimes when I was in the kitchen um, cooking or cleaning the house or whatever, I'd sometimes feel like palpitations or like my heart was racing. I'd feel a little short of breath. And also um, around that time, I happened to be doing a video for you guys on how face masks don't decrease oxygen levels. So I had my pulse ox on, okay? That's this little guy. And when I was making the video, you'll see actually in the video, I'm holding it up to show, see my oxygen level is normal. Well, my pulse is normal now, but in that video, it was like over a hundred. And I remember thinking, oh, that seems a little high. But I was like, oh, you're making a video. You must be extra hyped, blah, 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 blah. But it really sort of like, peak my mind saying, hey, we got to pay attention to this. So I did. And I noticed like literally I would get winded. And then I started saying, well, let me get more data. And well, I wear this Apple watch every day. You guys see this in my videos and I only wear it really for my steps, but I would forgotten it also tracks your heart rate. So I started looking back in the logs to see, and my heart rate had been going up what seemed to be like in the 130s, 140s, even 150s every now and then with activity. And I started freaking out. I was like, oh my gosh. Um, so I came to you guys and I told you about this, but I told you about this the first time when I'm literally in the parking lot of my cardiologist visit. Um, and I told you the importance of sort of taking uh, stock of your health, looking after your health, not putting things off because I felt that way for a little while, but I just written it off as anxiety. I was just like, oh, you're just anxious, which sometimes I am. Uh, and, um, yeah. And by the way, it's not the vaccine because a lot of people are like, it's the vaccine. No, it's not the vaccine. Um, I actually went back on my Apple watch and saw that for a long time, even before getting the vaccine, my, um, my heart rate was elevated, but it's not the vaccine. So anyway, um, the first live I did for you guys, I was in the parking lot of my cardiologist's office. I made an appointment for my cardiologist. Um, I had an EKG done in my office, my, um, my own office. I had one of my partners do it. It was normal, pretty much. I had blood work done. My thyroid was just a little bit abnormal, but we rechecked it. It came back normal. I made an appointment with a cardiologist that I really uh, trust and love and who's, he's amazing. And, um, I made, I did a live when I was getting ready to go in and do my stress test. I was so nervous because I really get nervous, like with my own self and health stuff. <laughs> so I did the stress test. You guys were awesome. You gave me amazing tips and stuff like that. You told me what to expect. You told me about your situation. By the way, I want to hear if you guys have any more like feedback or input. Um, my stress test actually came back. Okay. It was totally fine, man. I was sucking wind though. It was tough. <laughs> it was really tough. It's not an easy test. Um, and then after the stress test, I had done what was called um, a halter monitor. And you guys actually saw me do a couple lives with the halter monitor. I had to wear this device that connected and I showed it, I showed it to you, remember? And it was like tracking my heart rates for like a number of days. Um, and so I showed you the halter monitor and everything. And that was like, that was a whole thing. Halter monitor really didn't show a lot of abnormal heart rhythms, which I was excited about, but also like, huh, well then gosh, so what's going on? And then um, I also have a two, I had a 2D echo done, which is like an ultrasound of the heart where they put like jelly on your chest and they put the, 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 um, the wand there to take a look at it. I also posted some pictures so you can see me like getting my um, 2D echo done. That was okay. I just had like a little mild leaky valve as my doctor said, and nothing really to worry about and whatever. And all through this time though, this was going over like, I don't know, maybe the course of a month or so that I was getting these tests done, I was still feeling palpitations and still feeling like winded and a little bit short of breath with activity and kind of like what's going on. But also I should say in the meantime though, my heart doctor had talked to me about, hey, Let's talk about things that could be beside your heart. Let's talk about the stress in your life. Let's talk about making sure we're sleeping enough. Um, the other thing is deconditioning. I don't do a lot of exercise, like treadmill exercise or whatever, so it could be that I'm deconditioned. So we started talking about these things, and I talked to you. Oh, and drinking caffeine. I drink too much soda. Y'all know that. Anyway, so I started working on those. I'm not the best at giving up soda, but I tried. Um, and then um, what was really cool was I actually went on the doctors. I was hosting an episode of the doctors, and they actually did a story on my heart palpitation. So uh, you guys can take a look at that. And, and actually my cardiologist was able to come onto the show and really give some great input. I was really, really happy about that. The long story short was I talked to my cardiologist after all the testing, which for the most part came back okay, but I was still feeling symptoms. And he's like, you know what? Let's just get a sleep study to make sure that everything is okay. And I'm thinking, oh, sleep study. I ain't got sleep apnea. I ain't got it. <laughs> so I did it. I did a video on that because I'd never done a sleep study before. And I thought it was really helpful for me to do it, by the way, because I'd never done it to know what my patients go through. Turns out I actually have mild sleep apnea, y'all. The good thing is my cardiologist says that there's nothing much that we need to do about it, which is great. But I was a little surprised. Um, 
so where are we now? I know you guys are saying. Um, interestingly enough, I have to say, um, all of this testing has really, really happened over the course of maybe about six to eight weeks ish or so. And I was definitely feeling palpitations for a bit, but I'll be honest with you. I have been feeling a lot better for the last couple of weeks. I really haven't noticed the palpitations like I had in the past. Um, I don't notice feeling winded and short of breath and out of breath. Like I'm going to, you know, like going to pass out or have to sit down. I haven't felt that way lately. Now I know my stress levels are still high. I am trying to sleep more. I am trying to regulate my stress more um, and try to be more mindful of that. Um, still haven't figured out how to meditate, but I'll let you know when I do. Um, I'm also trying to cut back on the caffeine and trying to be more mindful of my lifestyle. The good thing is all my testing for the most part was within normal limits, right? Nothing much to do there. Um, and my symptoms seem to be calming down. So, you know, what was it? What what was it? Well, um, my, my heart doctor also said that, you know, the Apple Watch, like the um, reading may not have been 100% accurate, which totally makes sense, right? Um, so maybe even though it seemed like it was going in the 130s, 40s, 50s, it may not have actually been going that, that high. Um, but, you know, I think lifestyle is really important and trying to keep a balanced lifestyle for me is as well. I'm just happy that I'm feeling a lot better lately. Uh, I'm trying to, and definitely trying to make a point to see my doctor more regularly and make sure I'm doing all my routine checkups, my dentist visits, my doctor's visits. You guys have seen me post about that because it's so important and it gets, it's so easy for us all to like, just sort of start doing our stuff and not pay attention to it. So I wanted to let you know that I'm doing much better in terms of how I'm feeling. Um, my results came back, have come back pretty much normal, which is awesome. Still going to keep an eye on it. I'm still going to visit my cardiologist maybe once a year or something like that. I'll stay in touch with him. You know, he's a colleague of mine anyway, and I refer a lot of patients to him. Um, but it's certainly been an interesting journey and one which I hope if for anything for you all, I hope it just, you know, reminds you that if you're feeling anything funny to make sure you get it checked out. If something doesn't seem right. You know, don't ignore it. Um, put yourself first and make sure that while you're looking after everyone else in your life, you're also looking after yourself. So as always, you know, I'm pretty transparent about myself and I'll always let you know. I want to thank you guys for all your support, asking me how my heart has been, asking me how I've been doing because you have been doing that. And I so appreciate you. When I got my sleep study done, all of you were asked, you were telling me your experiences and what you did. And I love it. So keep it coming. Let me know if you've ever been through this. If you still have any words of wisdom, I want to hear it. Um, but you guys are amazing. And I just wanted to thank you all and sort of let you know what's been going on. So as always, I will continue to keep you updated. Um, I so appreciate you being on this journey with, with me. Um, thank you for liking and following my page. For those of you who send stars, I respond to you personally. And um, also, I have my Dr. Jen Superstars group, which is my private subscription group. Um, more than anything, this is my chance just to tell you all how much I love you and how much I'm so grateful that you're in my life. Um, I never would have imagined to basically have a, a, a group of folks as amazing as you hanging out with me on the regular. So thank you. I love you. Um, and uh, I'll keep you updated.